I'm Jason Carter. Physical optimization defines my life. The day I was born, doctors nearly killed me with medical malpractice. They said I'd never walk. I've been proving them wrong for 35 years. It's easier than you think to obtain super optimal health. I've devoted my life to it, and with my help, you can too. I'm Jason Carter, and this is Enzymental. And welcome to Enzyme Mental. I'm Jason Carter, and today I wanted to tell you about probably my favorite mineral of all time, and a mineral that most people are not getting nearly enough of and are chronically deficient in, and that is magnesium. Magnesium is a cofactor in more than 300 biochemical reactions in the body, including those involved in protein synthesis, muscle and nerve function, blood glucose control, and blood pressure regulation. It's also required for energy production and the synthesis of RNA, DNA, and the important antioxidant glutathione, and magnesium is a key player in maintaining healthy bones. Low magnesium intake and blood levels have been associated with type 2 diabetes, elevated levels of the inflammation marker C-reactive protein, hypertension, sudden cardiac death, osteoporosis, migraine headaches, asthma, and even colon cancer. So as you can see, magnesium is no minor player in whole body health. Some of the symptoms of magnesium deficiency can manifest as irritability, restlessness, a lack of concentration and fatigue, and also symptoms associated with attention deficit and hyperactivity disorder. Studies have consistently found that children diagnosed with ADHD are deficient in magnesium and that supplementation improves behavior, impulsivity, and hyperactivity. Magnesium also interacts with the relaxation amino acid gamma-aminobiteric acid, or GABA, helping to maintain normal transmission of this calming neurotransmitter while balancing levels of glutamate, which is an excitatory neurotransmitter. Calcium is often considered the most important nutrient for bone health, followed by vitamin D. But magnesium is necessary for both of these nutrients to work effectively. Magnesium is a cofactor to the enzymes that metabolize vitamin D. In other words, magnesium is required to convert vitamin D into its active form so it can carry out its important functions in the body, which include calcium absorption. Low levels of magnesium can inhibit the body from effectively utilizing vitamin D. Magnesium also activates a hormone that helps pull calcium from the blood and soft tissues into the bones. In addition to its relationship with calcium and vitamin D, magnesium also influences the activity of osteoblasts and osteoclasts, specialized cells that build up new bone and break down old bone. So not surprisingly, research has confirmed that women with osteoporosis have lower serum magnesium levels compared to women without the disease. Magnesium affects nerve impulses, muscle contraction, and normal heart rhythm. Low magnesium levels are associated with arrhythmia, which is a regular heartbeat, and also heart palpitations. Magnesium also maintains proper smooth muscle function in the blood vessels and promotes endothelial health, helping the lining of the arteries stay smooth and elastic. Through these actions, magnesium may play a role in regulating blood pressure, an important factor in reducing the risk of heart attack and stroke. Animal studies have found that animals on low magnesium diets develop arterial wall degeneration and calcification, and also an increase in triglyceride levels. While magnesium's role in bone and cardiovascular health has been known and studied for decades, its role in blood sugar metabolism has only more recently been investigated. The research has found a strong relationship between magnesium and insulin. A reduction of magnesium in the cells has been found to increase insulin resistance, while daily supplementation with magnesium was shown to improve beta cell function, which are the cells responsible for storing and releasing insulin, and insulin sensitivity in both type 2 diabetes and non-diabetic subjects with insulin resistance. Increasing magnesium intake may also reduce inflammation, an immune response that can contribute to a laundry list of health problems and chronic disease, including anxiety and depression. Studies have shown that both children and adults who consume less than the recommended daily allowance of magnesium, which is usually 400 milligrams, are on average twice as likely to have elevated levels of C-reactive protein, which again is a strong indicator of inflammation, compared to those who consume at least the recommended daily 
family allowance. A study published in the Journal of Immunology found that magnesium has a modulatory effect on the immune system and is able to reduce inflammatory cytokine production. This means that consuming more magnesium can actually help to reduce the inflammatory factors that can lead to disease. In addition to its important roles in bone, cardiovascular, brain, nerve health, and blood sugar regulation, magnesium has also shown promise in promoting healthy lung function, relieving the pain associated with fibromyalgia, relieving symptoms of PMS, specifically bloating, swelling, and breast tenderness, and relieving dysmenorrhea, which is painful menstrual cramps, and also promoting healthy sleep. Because it's involved in so many biochemical processes, Chronically low intakes of magnesium increase the risk of illness over time. This is in part due to a decrease in magnesium content in food because of industrial farming practices which deplete magnesium levels in the soil. Additionally, the processed foods that are so prevalent in the American diet lack magnesium profoundly. Certain medical conditions can also negatively affect magnesium levels also, including gastrointestinal disorders like IBS, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, and colitis. And also this includes diabetes, pancreatitis, hyperthyroidism, and kidney disease, as well as excessive menstrual bleeding. Large amounts of caffeine, processed carbohydrates including sugar and alcohol, and of course stress can all lower magnesium levels. Symptoms of magnesium deficiency may include fatigue, restless leg syndrome, sleep disorders, abnormal heart rhythms, palpitations, muscle spasms, and cramping. The current recommended daily allowance for magnesium is between 320 and 420 milligrams daily. It's a good idea also to take a B vitamin complex or a multivitamin containing your B vitamin because vitamin B6 in particular promotes the absorption of magnesium in the gut. While there are many common over-the-counter remedies for upset stomach and heartburn like milk of magnesia and rolades that contain magnesium as a primary ingredient, you really should not rely on these medications as a major source of magnesium. Your body can't produce magnesium on its own, so you have to get it from food and or supplement sources. And you do find magnesium in plenty of unrefined natural foods, and especially good ones include most leafy green vegetables like Swiss chard and spinach, seeds like pumpkin seeds and sesame and flax, seaweed, and even some seafood like cod, salmon, and halibut. And even with this plentiful abundance of sources, it's estimated that around 80% of the American population in particular is deficient in magnesium. So the best way to address this is to begin taking a magnesium supplement, which is easy enough to find. Try to take at least 400 milligrams a day, and I would take it at nighttime because it does principally relax the muscles and nerves. And most people are so starved of magnesium that when they begin taking it, at least for the first several days, if not the first week or two, they feel profoundly, pleasantly relaxed. So that pleasant relaxation is very welcome around, say, 9 or 10 p.m. as opposed to 9 or 10 a.m. Magnesium does also relax the intestinal muscles and draw water into the colon. So for this reason, if you have a little too much magnesium, you might get to know your bathroom a little bit more intimately than you would otherwise. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.